Hey, you are never too far gone. I am Play Eruption, and we are playing the One Region Challenge again in the Long Dark. Um, for those of you who this is your first time watching it, holy fog, it is dark out here. Or fog out here. You can't see anything, bro. So for those of you... Yeah, 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 good for you. For those of you who this is your first episode watching, is how this works is I spawned in at the uh, Forsaken Airfield, and I am not allowed to leave here. Uh, this is the region I will die in. I am not allowed to leave. That's just, it's how many days can I survive in one region. That's the whole challenge. That's, I don't remember if I did a random region and just got put here. Oh, the fog's clearing up. There is, you guys can't see it. If you watched the end of the last episode, you saw it. There's a cabin over there that I'm going to next. Um, uh, I spawned it at the Pacific Airfield, as you guys know. I looted everything I could find over there and basically got everything I could. So now I'm going around, there's two cabins away from the airfield, this one and another one. I'm going to try to get to the other one, and then probably head back to the airfield and just try to survive as long as I can. There's a nice little bunny spawn by the airfield, so that would be a great place to get food. But if the other cabin is really nice, I might stay there a little while. It's kind of just going to be a, what, is the th what, what does the game give me? And that, I'm going to go from there. There's a deer over there, darn shame I can't kill him. All I have is a flare gun. I probably would have to track him down and beat him over the head with it to kill him. It is good the fog is lifting. I gotta say, I was kind of worried navigating through all this fog was gonna be a pain because I don't- I've been to this cabin- That sounded like a weird noise. What was that? My fingers feel numb. Okay, well, maybe that was the sound of your fingers snapping off. Uh, but I've been to this cabin once before in a single player world. I literally, after the last episode, I played the single player just to find the cabin. I think it's going to be pretty easy to find, but I'm not 100% sure. So it is, it's good that the fog's lifting, because otherwise this would be a less than desirable thing to do. Okay, well it's really annoying not being able to see the other cabin, but I... Actually, you know, I think that's it in front of me, up there on the... I think that's it right up there on the ridge line. That's... that's a deer. You gotta keep your eyes open, guy. You, you never know, it's just... Maybe it's a stick, maybe it's a grizzly coming to give you a high five, and you might not know till it's too late. Is that an ice fishing hut? Holy smokes. Mr. Deer, is that safe ice to walk on? It's gotta be if there's an ice fishing hut out there. Actually, I can make a fire in there, eat a little food and warm up in there. That's clutch. And then I believe the cabin's up on that little island, and we have to sneak around the back to get in there. But that, that should be easy. Oh, is that the cabin or is that a rock? I don't know, there's so much fog up there. Oh my goodness, that's a couple wolves. Okay. Here's some food. I Do I start a fire here? Okay, yeah. We're gonna start a fire and take an hour and kind of just warm up. Hopefully if we give it an hour, some of the fog will clear and we will have a much better trip up the mountain. Are you serious? <laughs> That's a new line. I've never heard him say that when the fire doesn't work. Are you serious? <laughs> just ready to like break something over his knee. I wonder if a wolf can attack me in here. You wouldn't think so. But it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Okay, this might not work because the game's so cold. Holy smoke, all the fog is gone, though. That is the cabin up there. That is a lot of wolves. Come on, Mr. Fire, put out some heat for me. <laughs> Actually, I might do some water. Let's do this. That should be a full hour and it'll be done. I don't like how cold this game is, man. There we go, okay. Now let's sleep for an hour. The water will be boiled, I will have a little bit of heat, and I will hike up to that cabin. Excellent! Hello doggies, I'm going this way, you go that way, we'll all be friends. Don't you- I'm in stalker difficulty, aren't I? So yeah, they will actually probably try to track me down like that one is. <laughs> Boy, it does look like they're coming after me. At least a couple of them anyway. Maybe they're just walking in this direction. Regardless, we are not going to stick around to find out. Okay, they are not following me, I don't think. And then there's a little ice fishing hut. Do I go ex Let's go explore that before we head up to the cabin. That just seems like the call. I've got 51 cattails, or cattail stalks. My goodness, that's incredible. We should be able to live off of those alone for a week. Oh, you hate to see it, folks. Yep, we're going to explore this place later. We're going to backtrack up here and sneak up the mountain over here and go live at the cabin for a little while. Maybe there's a gun up there. That would be clutch. Okay, and I think there's a little, like, a camp that spawns in over there, like a little snow shelter with a fire. I might go check that out. First, I'm gonna get some sticks, go to the cabin and warm up a little bit, eat some food. Drop some of this weight because I am, I am very encumbered at the moment. Oh, and these little birds I can kill for food if I have some rocks. One rock, one shot! 
Wow! Grab it! Kill it! Ha! Ha! Mine! What a throw! Oh, I hope that cabin is close, because I'm going to start drawing in wolves. Oh, there it is. Well, you got a great view from up here. There's a hacksaw, some metal. Good to know. And this island cottage might be my home for a little while. You just warm up by coming inside. There's potatoes. There's a book. Okay. And you love to see it. We now have got a weapon. Good, good, good. There's food, there's water, there's ammunition, there's a rabbit. That's this food. There's food ever. This is incredible. Okay, let's start by dropping some weight. I don't need to carry all these sticks right now. Um, let's have a food drawer. Start stowing some of our cattails that are starting to overload us a little bit. Okay, all things considered, we go by durability. I, I don't know if I can eat that. This I need to eat quickly. This should be eaten somewhat quickly. And all the other food is really good condition. That's really nice. What is my cooking skill up to? Is it up to level 2? No, it's level 1. So I can't really make anything yet. Okay, let's look. Is there anything outside? There is bunnies and... That... Is a very weird noise. Okay, now perhaps I should sleep for an hour or two before I go charging out here. And I want to go check and see if there really is sure a... I feel so tired. Uh, camp over there. There might be some supplies there. And maybe I'll just explore the rest of the island and grab more sticks. I might, the temporary plan might be hold up in this cabin for a couple days. I've got plenty of food. And as long as I can kill bunnies and like those birds, well, I, I can't pronounce those birds, I don't know what they're called. As long as I can keep killing those birds and bunnies with stones, I could technically live here forever. Yeah, a uh, deer carcass and a camp like I thought. Is that a bow? How many bows are in this game? Thank goodness. I don't need it. Too bad there's not a knife. I should try to find a knife, but I think I've almost searched everywhere. Unless there's maybe one at that fishing hut. I don't know if there's any buildings here I have not searched yet. Where a blizzard kind of just kicked up out of nowhere. It is a good thing we are by this cabin. Alright then, well I'm going to end this video here. I think the game plan is going to be try to survive here for a while. I, as long as I can kill birds and bunnies. I have a bow with a couple arrows, and arrows last quite a while. As long, I mean, eventually they break, so they don't last forever. But the call might be, survive here as long as I can, go check that fishing hut, and then just try to kill birds and bunnies with stones and harvest them with your hands, so you're basically not using any equipment. And if I could do that, technically speaking, I should be able to survive infinitely out here. I mean, technically. If a wolf or a bear spawns up here and I have to use arrows or he gets me, that might be the end of it, but... So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have something you want me to play, please post it in the comments so I can take a look at it. But remember, love runs the world. So don't forget to run the world.